Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Guys, yesterday the Netherlands officially slipped into a recession. We know it was coming, but it's officially here. I didn't really want to leave my house today, but I had to show you this. Inflation is so incredibly high in this country. I don't know what we're going to do. Let's go check out something in the grocery store. What's pissed me off even more is that we got some news coming out of Ukraine. And I don't care how you feel about Trump. At the end of the day, he was right about certain things, especially when he said Ukraine is full of corruption. So now we come to find out that a lot of government officials have used our hard-earned tax money that we send to them to prop up their country. They've been spending it and buying luxury homes in Spain and across Europe. While we are slipping into a recession, our prices are extremely high. Nobody can afford groceries. The electricity is extremely high. People have been living in the cold because they can't afford to pay their heat. And they all around Europe spending our money buying luxury homes. Isn't it great to grow your own tomatoes when they're selling them for two nineteen? And cherry tomatoes, three euros. Just want to show you a few stuff, guys. Look at this. Three pieces of chicken. 12 euros and 99 cents. Three pieces of chicken. If you can grow your own stuff, guys, definitely try to grow your own stuff. This is literally four slices of ham in a pack for 368. I actually should take that into the manager and ask him why are four pieces of ham three euro something. So yeah guys, I brought you a long shop with me to show you the extravagance of grocery shopping nowadays. I mean, you, you can't make this up. A little pack of rice and meat. 850 and yes I know you can make it yourself but the point is that is crazy prices this is bacon and it's having at about 10 slices and it's three euros and 25 cents just regular things that people eat every day and regular things that people want to eat a little piece of meat, I have just 0 0.6 kilos, it's 12.75, 9.83 for 0 0.6 kilos. I mean, I can go through the whole store, but I'm just giving you some examples. A piece of cheese, guys. It looks like 10 slices, 5 euros, 99, almost 6 euros, 4 little patties, look how big they are, big like my finger, 4.99, and then they take them and make them even smaller, and they're still 4.99. The bigger ones are $4.99 and they made them smaller, still $4.99. Another good reason to do your own canning is a bottle of tomato paste is $4.69. Smaller bottle, $3.69. So I'm going to grab some of these because these are on sale. I don't know, 4 Oh, it's fine. We have a lot at home. 
like I say, it never hurts if you see something on sale to grab it and keep stocking up. Prices on baby's milk. Almost 20, 20 euros for a carton. It's the spawn of my hand. It's so tiny. This is a different brand. 17 euros. So this is what we got. Some cheese, some eggs, uh, pesto sauce, macaroni, some popcorn, two French breads, a strawberry, something to put on the sandwiches. We're about to see how much that's going to come up to, guys. Oh, and two milks and a six pack of beer. Seventy-seven euros for this bag of stuff, and we really have nothing. We didn't buy any meat, any chicken, nothing special, not no, nothing. <laughs> Just a few little things in a red bag. Yeah, guys, this is what we continuously say about preparing, prepping, 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 because now recession has hit us. Inflation is sky high. If you have all your things stocked up in your cupboards, you don't have to run out and get constantly be buying things at these crazy, ridiculous prices. So any, any way you can, any store you find with things on sale, you can use coupons, whatever, whatever it takes, stock your cupboards because I really think things are going to get worse. That's it. That little small bag, 77 euros, guys. So one more chore to do before we head home. I told you guys Paris wasn't feeling well, so we're good taking her to the doctor again. We have no idea what's going on with her. I know it's really difficult. It's difficult to imagine if you're not a prepper. Why do preppers prep? I'm 100% sure a lot of people laugh at you, laugh at me, and why do we do what we do? But I'm going to tell you just just keep on prepping because i really don't think it's gonna get any better like right now i've been seeing so much people talk about losing their jobs so much stores left and right are closing down and i really think the next big crisis is going to be unemployment i think that's going to be the next big crisis that people there are going to be a lot of people without jobs. I mean, you can see it happening slowly. Even if you go into a simple place like McDonald's, there are less servers. There are less people behind the counter. They put automated things that you can put in your orders. Also by the pizza places. The jobs that the least of us in our society need. Burger King, McDonald's, filling the shelves at the grocery stores. Even the banks, all banks are closing. You either have to do your things online or you just get an automated machine outside. Restaurants are letting people go. So like I say, the least among us are losing their jobs. And I think that's gonna be the next big explosion because if all those little stores in the high street are closing and, and the common man has no more work, can you imagine like I said in other, like I said in other vlogs, what the society is going to be, what the society is going to come to. There's going to be a big split. People that have and people that don't have. People that can afford homes, that can afford to rent, that can afford to buy, that can afford to feed their families. I think that's the next big crisis. And I continue to say, be prepared guys, because nothing, nothing is getting easier. This is getting worse and worse and we are about to go into a serious serious societal crisis so cases here are saying that even if even if people decide that you know we're gonna just eat peanut butter and bread tonight even peanut butter the prices are ex 
extravagant so he's saying on average because like you guys know i don't really do shopping but he's saying on average uh peanut butter costs four or five four to five euros a big pot of peanut butter so you can't even get away with saying i'm gonna skip a meal and gonna have some bread and peanut butter So yeah guys, back home again, gonna unpack the groceries, just wanted to get you up to date what's going on in Europe. Yes, there's a lot more going on and I'm gonna make a vlog about that. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again in my next vlog. Cheers.